Three, two, one. This is Exploring Chiropractic, the podcast for chiropractic and pre-chiropractic students. Episode 6 for March 7th, 2014, Life University. I'm Nathan Cashin, your host, and this show is not sponsored by my school, UWS, or Life University. Anything that we share is just our personal opinions based on our experiences there. The featured affiliate for this episode is Audible. Get a free audiobook download today, yours to keep, by visiting exploringchiropractic.com forward slash audible. This is Exploring Chiropractic, and I am Nathan Cashin, and joining me tonight on Exploring Chiropractic is Daniel Atkin. How are you, Daniel? Doing great. Thanks for joining me from Life University in Georgia. So without, well, risking a horrible cliche, how's life? <laughs> you know, I've, I've heard that before, and uh, life is fantastic. It couldn't be better out here learning learning chiropractic and living the dream out here in Georgia. What made you decide to head out to Georgia for school? You know, it, it, it was interesting. You know, as, as I was going through my undergraduate school, I always knew that I wanted to uh, go into chiropractic. And so when the time came to choose a school, um, I got on our good friend Google, and I found about every school that was out there you know, perused their websites, uh, called their counselors, talked with a whole bunch of them, um, and, and kind of came up with my top three um, between Life University, Parker, and, and Palmer out in Davenport. I, I felt that after talking to all the people that those deserved a, a second look, so I, I, I took a cross-country flight and hit each one of them, and, um, you know, after, after visiting them and, and being at Life, I, and the second I got on Life, I, I just knew there was something unique about Life University. And so, you know, my, my journey wasn't one of convenience or, you know, what's the nearest school to my house or anything like that. It was, you know, what, what, what's the best fit for me and my family? And uh, Life University was, was perfect for us. That's awesome. You and me both, we, we put in a huge effort. And it's hard to think that that... Uh, you know, was as worth. Sorry, was as worth as I'd, I'd like to think, because um, I came to UWS twice. I went to Palmer West. I went to Life West. I went to um, Southern California, and I so I spent time and money traveling, and I'm glad I didn't. But it's not it's not usual for people to do that, is it? No, it's not. In fact, I, sometimes I'm I'm surprised how people end up in different places. It seems kind of random and I certainly think it's it's worth really figuring out uh, what the schools represent because because not all chiropractic schools are the same and that's certainly uh, one of the things we're probably trying to get a part of uh, uh, the point we're trying to make in this podcast is that there are some unique differences and some different fits based on based on uh, who you are and what you believe in. that's exactly it I hear it over and over you know I I chose a school that I that was closest to me and then I got there and I realized wait a minute there's there's this difference between schools. There's straights and mixers, or philosophy and evidence-based, and yeah, it's it's a kind of a bigger world than we would imagine. It's not just chiropractic is chiropractic. What is your chiropractic story? Why did you choose to go to school? You know, I, I have a, a an interesting story. When I was ten, uh, my sister Crystal was twelve. Um, all of a sudden, after a, a, a track race, she started fainting. And she fainted every single day for two years. Uh, about the same time, 10 o'clock in the morning, doctors had, or her school teacher had popped an ammonia capsule under her nose and it would wake her up. Well, after two years of that, she became paralyzed. Um, you know, so obviously we spent months going to about every doctor imaginable where they came up with all kinds of theories as to what was going on. And none of them panned out. And so they sent her home in a wheelchair. Well, someone mentioned that we should go see a chiropractor, so we did. And after one adjustment, uh, she had movement in her hands and feet. And three weeks later, she was walking again. Uh, she's now a, a happy mother, you know, raising a happy family, you know, leaving a footprint in this world that only a mother can. And, you know, you step back and you think, well, if it weren't for chiropractic, that wouldn't be possible. So as you can imagine, to, to a 10-year-old that, uh, you know, that was freaked out about his sister to, to see what happened, I decided right then and there that I was going to be a chiropractor, and obviously, you know, you kind of laugh at 10-year-olds deciding what they want to do. Well, somehow that desire never left, and uh, 
you know, my path has taken me, me straight to chiropractic, and, and I couldn't be happier with what I've chosen. That's amazing. So have the, has the fainting subsided as well? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I think after fainting daily, I think after that first adjustment, you know, there was probably a handful of time over the next three or four years where maybe, you know, a handful of episodes total over the next three or four years. But it brought her out of the paralysis, the fainting stopped, and, I mean, people laugh at the idea that she was ever paralyzed or ever fainting because, I mean, it's just been years and years since it happened after having happened daily at almost the same time. That's incredible. That's an incredible story. Was your family chiropractor a life graduate? Did that have any influence on where you went? No, it didn't. I mean, he, I'm pretty sure he was a Palmer graduate. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we had to travel an hour and a half to get to him. So he was very influential for, for a little while. But I just had the opportunity this past summer to actually go out and meet him and say, you know, he, he was retired. I tracked him down, was able to shake his hand and and tell him what a difference he'd made in his in my life, but uh, but he was only in our lives for for about six months before we moved to, to a different part of the country. Oh, that's awesome! You said when you got to campus, you just felt like it was the right place. What is what is the campus like? When you walk to school or get out of your car, however it is, what's the, what's the view? You know, it's interesting because you know when you go down the main road to where campus is located, you know it's kind of a a, a big strip of, of lots of car dealerships and, and you think well this campus can't be that nice well you, you, you turn onto this street and um, you know life kind of owns the, the, the whole street there both sides of it for the most part and, and, and honestly it is a beautiful campus it, it really is I mean there's I think uh, life's campus is probably bigger than most out there uh, we are a university. We've got you know several sports, so we've got a big gym center, rugby field. We own, and and I don't know. I'd have to say it's at least two or three acres of woods. So there's wooded areas and trails where you can go jogging, and um, you know it, it's it's really a beautiful, beautiful campus. It's green. I mean that's just the south. When you're down here in the south, uh, it, it's green for a good part of the year. And, um, you know, that was one thing that really surprised me. I mean, there's a little creek that runs down the middle of campus in kind of an old century village. Um, once a year around Christmas time, they have what they call the Lights of Life, where they absolutely, um, you know, deck out the whole area with a, with a, a, a huge light show that the community comes in and, and actually pays to drive through. And so it, 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 it kind of shocks you when you get in there because you, you don't know how such a beautiful little spot could exist when really you're kind of coming at it from from a main drag of a boring old, you know, you know, used car shop type road, but uh, it is a gorgeous little campus. I'm going to pull up on my screen for those watching the video, uh, an awesome interactive campus map. And you're right, it's just forest land and a nice creek running through it. Um, this this track and is that a football field? That's part of the campus. That, 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 yeah, it is part of the campus. It's rugby. We actually have. Right. Um, national champion rugby teams here. Just last year, both our club team um, won a championship as well as our undergraduate team. And so that's rugby. It's not football. There's there's another right. football team. <clears throat> yep, you and Life West are the big rugby teams. I think I saw on your Facebook page you had a victory recently. Yep. So this this is a cool. I think this is the only the second school that has this interactive map. I remember Logan had one. And it's really nice to be able to see what the campus is like because you're going to spend almost all day, every day, for the next three and a half years of your life on this campus, right? That's right. <laughs> Night and day. Do you have a favorite building? Um, you know, we spend so much of our time in the one chiropractic building, you know, and it's it's a nice little facility. Well, I, I take that back. I probably spend most of my time in the library studying and and in a lot of ways, um, you know, the area around you is nice, but if you're really intent on getting through chiropractic school, um, you know, quickly and with good grades, you're just going to be between four white walls in some library somewhere. So it's nice to, to walk outside and see it, but, uh, you know, you, you, you've, got, you've got the normal building, and it's a good facility, but, you know, it's, it's classrooms. <laughs> It looks like a beautiful library. The image that comes up is just uh, very modern looking and and really clean. I like it. 
It, it is. It's it, it's a great facility, and there's lots of resources there, and um, it's really well. In fact, over the last several years, there have been many many updates made to this school where you know you, you say it looks modern, and, and and that's the case in a lot of different areas. Life has been uh, around since 1975, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's a relatively new school compared to Palmer and UWS. Um, although the cam UWS campus is about the same era in the 1970s is where we moved to the current one. So yeah, so a pretty, pretty big and a pretty uh, well kept campus. I like that. I'm looking at the website and. I want to talk a little more about the philosophy of chiropractic, and there's a page here on vitalism. So I hear from Sherman, Life West, and now Life University, uh, this talk about vitalism, and not all schools mention this. What is vitalism to you? You know, vitalism, um, a, a, a chiropractic word within vitalism is, is innate intelligence, and that's the recognition that uh, inside every living thing, um, there's an innate intelligence that, that, that runs it. It's the difference between, you know, what, what, what's living and what's non-living. And so really the philosophy is, of chiropractic is that the body is designed to heal itself. And the way that heals itself is through the proper expression of innate intelligence. And, and what chiropractic is, is it's the removal of the interference from the nervous system so that innate intelligence can express itself more fully and that is uh, that, that, that is taught uh, at Life University and and you know is the basic premise of chiropractic and so that vitalistic philosophy really sets us apart in, in how we understand that the body is being self-healing self-maintaining you know self you know reproducing and and uh, so that innate intelligence that vitalism is a huge part of what you're exposed to here on campus. A few episodes ago I spoke with students at Sherman College of Chiropractic and they also talked about vitalism and Sherman used to be called the College of Straight Chiropractic. Would you consider life a straight chiropractic school? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, and, and I, Life University, you know, enrollment wise is certainly the largest chiropractic school and, and we certainly consider ourselves the leaders uh, in vitalistic philosophy, you know, certainly along with, with, with Sherman and some of these other schools. Um, but, but Life University would definitely be considered a straight school and, and, and certainly um, on purpose and, 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 and proud of that reputation. How many students do you have at the school? Do you know? You know, I would... I, I, from what I've been told and understand, I think we're still shy of 2,000, but we're certainly climbing towards there. The, the classes that are, that are bringing onto campus are huge right now, and so, you know, I, we've, they've grown in the three years I've been here, but I think we're probably still shy of 2,000. Once you include our undergraduate program, it's probably closer to 2,500, though. Wow, that actually is huge. My, our school, I think, is around 500, mm -hmm. so you guys are nearly, well, the full campus is five times larger than our uh, our current numbers. That is that is a big school. It is. Do you feel like there's any disadvantage to that? You, you know, um, certainly when you are uh, taking labs, uh, you know, the lab work and, and in lecture, you know, the, the size of a lecture, you know, can be larger without any disadvantages. I don't know what your lab sizes are, but often we'll get about 20 students, and they'll try to staff it with two different faculty members. Um, but having smaller lab classes would only be an advantage, just because you get more one-on-one -on -one time. So that that's probably a, a, a disadvantage there. That doesn't sound far off. Now you're you're on the quarter system at Life. You're currently in 13th quarter. That's right. 13th quarter. So. That's a little bit different as well to have 14 quarters, so it's a three and a half year program. Yep. Okay. And how many students are in each class? You know, my, my class started with um, with probably about 130. Um, you know, certainly it, it drops down as people um, you know stop partway through the curriculum. Not that it happens a whole lot, but I think we started with about 120, 130. And, and I've heard that some of our classes coming in are uh, are well over 200. Um, 
and some even getting close to 300. Yeah, again, a really large class. So it's good that you guys get it down to 20 in a lab, though. We have we try to keep it 10 to 20, and any more, I think, than 15, it gets difficult to really get that one-on-one -on -one with the instructors. Yeah, that's right. A few more questions about the website, because I found these things interesting. Let me jump over to the screen share again. Uh, I just came across Facebook or... Maybe it was, I was just browsing around life, but they have this website called Amplified. It seems to be a, almost a social network for chiropractic and for vitalistic philosophy. Yes, um, Dr. Reekman, our university president, is, uh, is very uh, forward-thinking, certainly in that regard, in the way that he tries to market things. And so the concept between this, uh, this Amplified is it is certainly just a way of pushing out a message to millions of people with the click of a button. And so uh, he has presented what, what he calls the 18% tipping point, which I think is something from uh, one of the TED Talks, if you're familiar with, with, with TED Talks. And, and that's that it, once you reach 18% of the population, uh, basically a product or whatever it is, you know, chiropractic or whatever it may be, it reaches a tipping point where all of a sudden it spills into all the masses and it becomes accepted more as a, a, a normal thing rather than something on the fringes. And so with this Amplified program, you know, he, once we get to 18% of the population as chiropractic and as this uh, social network uh, being a means to get a simple chiropractic message out to a lot of people, uh, then we'll be able to reach that tipping point. So it interacts with uh, certainly with Facebook and, and Twitter and some of those other accounts where you can push out a message to a large audience. Yeah, from what I remember, the idea is they have uh, pre-written or pre-collected uh, uh, messages, these images, these videos that you then can just quickly share on whatever your preferred social network is. And so it's a way to, to kind of get the word about chiropractic out to your social networks. That's right. It's an excellent service that, that, that can save the time. I mean, I, I know a lot of people are looking for Facebook ideas for their company website, and it's certainly an easy way to push out the message. And it looks like they've tried to gamify it a little. So gamifying is that idea of, of making some type of game out of it, of course. But you get points. So the more you share, the more points you get. Uh, what are these points worth? You know, I, I think they're attached to some sort. I think they might uh, give you points toward free seminars and uh, similar products like that. That uh, you know that, that that are also kind of share the chiropractic message. So I, I believe that's what those points are for. Very interesting. It's it's cool to see how the different schools are are embracing social media. Well, of course, I love that because I think social media has a huge part. And I'm doing an episode coming up in about two weeks on social media for chiropractic students. So everybody stay tuned for that. Another example of it is is this life TV or life television, I think, which really isn't television, but it's just a bunch of videos on their webpage. Yeah, Dr. Reekman, um, 30 years ago, um, started uh, the Renaissance with Joe Felicia, and they came up with the very first ever... Uh, patient education video where you know they they show the uh, you know when, when a new patient's coming in before the report of findings and so he really prides himself in that video area. In fact, I think before chiropractic, he was into um, you know producing videos and and um, you know kind of the, and theater and that kind of stuff. And so this was a, a natural fit. And so he, he he loves video. He uses them in presentation. You can see right here on Life TV. There's a lot of excellent presentations that kind of teach about life, but also uh, about chiropractic as well to, to, once again, share that message. Very cool. Here's a video on the vitalistic philosophy. I think I'll go watch that to get a better idea of what they, uh, they like to teach with that. Well, very cool. We're going to take a quick break, and I'm going to mention the affiliate for the show. This week it is audible.com, and Audible is a great collection of audiobooks. You can get a free one just by signing up. No, uh, no commitment necessary. You get the first book for free, and you get to keep it. And I just want to recommend one I've been reading this quarter or listening to. I'm in fifth quarter, 
genetics is one of the courses, and at the very beginning, uh, we were talking about DNA, and he mentioned this book by James D. Watson, of course, of Watson and Crick for fame, in which he talks about the process and the history of identifying the structure of DNA. And as I walk to school and walk home, and sometimes in between classes or on a long run on the weekend, I like to listen to audiobooks, and it's a great way to learn more about uh, the history behind the things I'm learning in class. So The Double Helix by James Watson, you can get this book or any other of your choosing for free if you go to exploringchiropractic.com slash audible. What would you say is the best part about being at Life University? Yeah. I would have to say the best part about Life University, and the reason why, you know, if I could, I would not make any uh, different choice, is the, the exposure that we have uh, to what chiropractic truly is at its core. Um, the, 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 the philosophy, uh, you know, chiropractic is a philosophy, science, and art. And I think that what we have at Life University is a huge part of, 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 of all of those. Um, and so, you, you know, first of all, the philosophy, we already talked about the vitalistic philosophy, uh, you know, the, the, the science. We have uh, a great research program here on campus where students are able to do a lot of research. Um, the uh, professor in charge of our research here um, runs three uh, online journals, you know, and then, and then of course, the art, um, you know, b b between the technique classes, um, I, I've been told, and I certainly haven't compared it to other curriculum from other schools, but I've certainly been told that uh, from the electives and from the required curriculum, Life University has access to far more chiropractic techniques than any other school, and so there's lots of opportunity to pursue what you want to pursue, but to, to, to have um, the essence of, of chiropractic boiled down to what its roots are and to be able to be on a campus where you know, it's taught, and you know, this cert certainly not everything's perfect. It, it isn't anywhere, but to have a school that's so strong in those three aspects of chiropractic, yet you know, you see, you know, for for those that want to get into different therapies and things like that, you know, there's certainly that available. So it, 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 the school doesn't have the mentality of, um, you know, of, of restricting thought or or only stressing one particular aspect of health, but there's a living, breathing. A vitalistic philosophy taught here, and and that's the one thing about Life University that 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 makes it all worth it is to have been exposed to that and to really be able to go grow as a student um, through that philosophy. Do you ever use the term uh, evidence-based? Do you have courses on evidence-based chiropractic, or do you uh, spend time looking at the research supporting chiropractic as a treatment? Oh, absolutely! I'll tell you, I just got through. Um, it's certainly the the most famous class here on campus, the most difficult one, uh, has you dive so deep into the research um, where, you know, it, it, like I said, you know, one of the professors we have runs research journals. Now, when it comes to the evidence-based, there's a specific class um, where we go into um, the details of that. And so, uh, you know, I, I, Evidence-based is taught, and it's something we're exposed to. How it lines up in comparison to other schools, I don't know, but it's certainly uh, something that's taught here, uh, as well as the research. We're very interested in making sure that the science lines up, um, you know, and, and is as important as any other aspect of chiropractic. If you could change one thing about Life University, what would that be? Um... If I were to change something um, about the school itself, it would probably have to do, well, and, and, I, and this I don't know if this is a complaint across the board, that, that there's a lot of time dedicated to chiropractic, and, and the problem with chiropractic in general could be business and getting out and being able to run a practice. Life University has a, a business class every quarter, and I don't know if maybe everybody has a business class all the time. But, we, uh, I don't know if we even have a single class on business. And most schools that I visited don't teach business. So you, every quarter you guys have a class on how to run a business? Every quarter we have a business class. And it, it's interesting you say that because when I was looking for schools, 
that was important to me. I wanted to be able to run a business, and I liked life. And I think life, I mean, I felt that life had the best business program before, and, and apparently we we must have a pretty good one if it, if we've got a class every quarter and, and not everybody has that. But, you know, yet, yet here we are, probably same as other schools, still somewhat complaining about the fact that they're not making, giving us an MBA while we also go to chiropractic school. Certainly that's not the school's responsibility, but, you know, the more exposure that we have to business, the better because, you know, we're spending $250,000 for the privilege of opening up a small business and we better know how to run that small business. And let me clarify, we do teach, we do have courses where we're taught billing, we're taught insurance codes. Um, I don't think we have a course where we're taught the finances, the management, the, you know, how to write uh, your business plan, how to get loans. We have a club on campus that deals with that. Almost almost every week we have a meeting. And, um, but yeah, that that's something that I think is sorely like. I spend a lot of time outside of school checking out websites, checking out books on how to pay off my loans, how to open a business, how to run a business, and it's scary. Yeah. Well, at Life University, we certainly have a course. We have multiple clubs um, from multiple different angles that do lots of business that are actually quite fantastic. You know, and, and I think it's the case that you know you're going to get uh, get out what you put into these uh, courses. But uh, you know, with uh, you know, with, with that being my largest uh, complaint, you can tell why um, I, I've really enjoyed my time here at Life University. That's really great to hear. Well, let's wrap it up. Uh, it's been a great chatting with you and learning about Life University. There's so many things that we could ask, but maybe we'll come back again. We're going to have a couple other students on from Life University, including an old high school classmate of mine that I haven't spoken to in years. So maybe we'll do another episode of Life, and we can get you back on if it fits. Before we leave, I want to uh, share our tick picks this episode. What have you got to share with the students? You know, something I've run into just within the last few months that I love and listen to as often as I can is is a podcast called Spinal Column Radio, and it is an excellent podcast because uh, this guy, this uh, chiropractor running it, is able to interview a whole lot of very, very uh, you know awesome chiropractors, people that you know names you're going to recognize. He does an excellent job interviewing. Now it's it's certainly straight principled chiropractic, and so anybody listening that may not be as familiar uh, with that side of chiropractic, it's absolutely worth a listen. And for those of you that are into it, I'll tell you this stuff will get you charged up. You can put it on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever you're listening to. Listen to it on the commute, and I've it's it, it, it's charged me up, and and something I definitely recommend. I have listened to Spinal Column Radio for the past, mm, not quite a year, maybe about a year, ever since I started. Because as soon as I listened to my first episode, Dr. Thomas Lamar, the host of Spinal Column Radio, contact invited me on sharing it. And I think that's been a huge benefit to exploring chiropractic because I almost don't have to plan my shows. I get contacted from students around the world who heard Dr. Thomas Lamar mention my podcast, contact me, and we bring him on. So I've talked to people in New Zealand, Australia. I've someone from Barcelona that I'm in the schedule, and including the original student from Life who I was going to interview, So, and, of course, you. So that's awesome. I, I do love Spinal Column Radio. Uh, I'm kind of bummed that he's not producing any more episodes. His Did you listen to his finale episode? Yes, I did. <laughs> I've only gotten maybe an hour into it, and I just, it's sitting in my podcast app, and this episode is over seven hours long. <laughs> he, he loves doing crazy things like this, because now he can say he has the world's record for the longest chiropractic podcast ever recorded, and it's true, get to beat it. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun show to listen to. Awesome. My pick of the week has to do with podcasts as well, and it's a shameless plug because I just discovered Stitcher. Stitcher Radio is an app, and phone I fire, and it is podcasting, and so rather than separate podcast feeds or having to go to iTunes. 
which you can do by and subscribe to Exploring Chiropractic. You can also use Stitcher, and Stitcher will take your your um, preferences, whether it's uh, entertainment, technology, local news, global news, and it will stitch together a bunch of different podcasts with those qualities and with that material. And I'm glad to say that Exploring Chiropractic is now on Stitcher, so you can get to uh, Stitcher on or on Stitcher by going to exploringchiropractic.com slash stitch things. But you can always watch Exploring Chiropractic on YouTube. You can download it as well on iTunes. And you can just go to can watch it there, listen to it there, and find out more. And see, one of my favorite things that I was putting of all of the universe and this would have come in handy I think for you Daniel as well as for me when we were to be able to sure how can I learn more click on each little thing will come up and most of them if not all of them there will take you to the web page so that is our practice and stitcher radio a cool new Android. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for joining me this uh, this episode about Life University. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Is there a way that people can get a hold of you if they want to learn more about life? Are you online, Twitter, Google? You, you know, the, the best way to get a hold of me, I'm... I, um, is uh, an email at dAtkin at student.life.edu. I'm happy to field any questions. I guess I, I, I need to upgrade and get Facebook or something. Maybe that would have been easier, but, uh, but certainly sending me an email, I'd be happy to, to answer any questions because uh, I, I love to share chiropractic and, and, and life represents what chiropractic truly is. All right. Well, thank you again, Daniel, and thanks for listening to Exploring Chiropractic.